All right, everybody. Hail and welcome to another episode of the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast on Midgard Musings. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done one of these podcasts, and I got to tell you, it's good to be back for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love doing these random rambling sort of things. Um, it's just a little break from the norm, you know, a little break from the average day-to-day -day stuff that I've got going on. And it's a break from what I usually do uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, but I'm also excited because now these podcasts are going to start going up on the YouTube channel. So you may be wondering, what in the world do I even mean? What do you mean, Jesse? What are you talking about putting these uh, podcasts up on YouTube? Well, if you're listening, I'm about to tell you. If you're watching, you already know. So let's go ahead and get right into it with our fancy Nancy intro. All right, so that's that. That was that. Um, and this is this, guys and gals out there in the uh, podcast land listening. It's going to be a little different going forward on these, uh, on these podcasts because you guys can see me now. Or if you so choose to become a member um, on Midgard Musings, then you can definitely see me. Otherwise, you're just going to continue to listen. You know, that's all well and good. Um, I am going to try to, you know, bring back a regular cadence of these once a week. And uh, what day a week that is going to be remains yet to be seen. Also going to be including some guests um, on the podcast a lot more, hopefully. I've got some people lined up from last month that I didn't get on the podcast and uh, definitely want to have them back here. Uh, also want to get some return guests, folks that have uh, either been on the podcast before or have been on the YouTube channel before, um, and have them come back and just do some random ramblings. These are fun. You know, these are, these are conversation starters, um, and as you can tell by the setup if you're watching and listening, it sounds a little bit different, looks a lot different. Um, like I said, I really hope that the, uh, that the whole experience of listening and watching turns into something much more engaging and much more exciting. It is still going to be random, okay? Um, there's going to be talk of heathen-related stuff, of course, but there's also going to be a lot more random stuff, which is where the guests come in. So today's episode is kind of a launch uh, into the visual version of the podcast because um, I really didn't, you know, coming back into it um, after being kind of on a hiatus there for a while, it's uh, going to take a little while just to kind of get back into the groove of things, but I did want to just come out here and do one for for all of you. Um, as a reminder, you can be featured on the podcast um, by calling into the Midgard Musings hotline. That phone number is 615-671-9832. Uh, if you are not domestic in the U.S. and you don't want to get charged out the butt for international dialing rates, okay, you can always send me a quick voice message by going to uh, anchor.fm slash Midgard Musings or any podcast listening platform that you're on. I think pretty much all of them have a uh, option for you to send a voice message to me. I know Spotify does, I'll put it that way. I don't, I don't necessarily look at all of the, you know, options that are out there on the various uh, podcast listening platforms. I do know that Spotify has one, but at least on the Anchor platform, if you go to anchor.fm slash Midgard Musings, you got an option there to send me a voice message, which is an audio clip that you have a one minute limit for or on. 
uh, you know, send me a message, say hi, ask a question. Um, but if you are domestic U.S. and you don't, uh, or if you're international, you don't care for the rates, you know, maybe you've got an awesome international dialing plan. Um, it is set up through Google Voice, so I don't know if that makes a difference, you know, but um, yeah, 615-671-9832 is the phone number to the, uh, to the, to the, to the hotline, as it were. You just leave a voicemail, I'll check it out, and you'll be featured on a future podcast, which is really cool because it allows uh, some dialogue to take place. A lot of, a lot of folks have shared their thoughts, either through voice messages or through calls to the, to the podcast, and it's great to have that level of uh, engagement. So if you're not a guest on the show, you know, sharing, the, sharing your screen, uh, joining in on the podcast with me long distance, then you can certainly uh, share your thoughts on the podcast um, going forward. So there's that. Also, make sure that you check the show notes, as always, for the Linktree link. Um, for those that are watching the podcast, you guys know it's going to be down in the description of all of my videos. So check the Linktree link for the, all the ways that you can support Midgard Musings. Uh, this is now one of them by becoming a member on the channel, kind of a uh, kind of a Midgard Musings club, as it were. Um, so, you know, it's it's basically what it is. You know, it's, it's a, um, you know, you pay a monthly subscription uh, fee for uh, various tiers, you know what I mean? Um, so at like your entry level, you'll um, basically going to uh, be given like exclusive emojis or loyalty badges and things that you can use during my live streams at your second tier uh, level you get early access to all of my videos plus you get the visual um the visual version of the podcast which is what's going on right now if you are a, a member at that level so uh, and then the top tier um, is you get all of that everything included so basically let me like let me back up a minute back up a minute because I just ran myself over in the middle of the street. So the first tier, right? I tell you, loyalty badges, emojis, priority re replies and responses in the live chat. Your second tier, you get all that, plus the early access to the videos, plus the visual version of the podcasts, right? So everything from the previous tier or previous level of your membership, you get plus more. And then the third tier or the third level, the last level, uh, the top tier, right, is uh, all of what I just said. Plus, you get um, uh, to be on members only live streams, you know. So when I'm streaming live and I get all kinds of people in the live stream on YouTube, the members only live stream is for the top tier where it's, you know, a more exclusive sort of audience. You can ask me all kinds of questions. You can suggest content for my videos or future podcast episodes, you can be a bit more candid. Um, don't abuse it, use it, but please don't abuse it. I don't wanna have to ban anybody. I don't wanna have to boot anybody. I don't wanna have to lay the ban hammer down on anybody, you know what I mean? I want it to be fun, I want it to be exciting, I want it to be engaging and um, wanna see it grow. So please check the show notes uh, or the description, whichever it is, wherever it is that you're looking at, please check that um up above or down below or over to the left or over to the side or you know wherever it is whatever it is um that you're doing so that's the biggest and most exciting thing you know the reason i haven't uh done a podcast in the last week or so um is um first of all um april 20th first 20th first april 21st <laughs> going back a couple of weeks april 21st was my um Four year wedding anniversary. So, you know, the um that that fell on a Wednesday. And Wednesdays have been usually when I put episodes out on the podcast. So of course I was out for that. And then that weekend following my anniversary was the Siegerblot, um celebration that I held with my tribe. 
um, at my Goldie's parent property in Lewisburg, Tennessee. Uh, and that was awesome. Let me tell you something. That was, that was freaking awesome. Um, so I hope that anybody that does observe Sigurd Bloat or, or have any sort of Sigurd Bloat celebrations and such, that you guys had a wonderful one and uh, had great victories to celebrate. We sure did. You know, so that was uh, up to and in, in including the week before last. And then um, last week, um, last week, to be honest, I don't, I don't really have a, a, a reason <laughs> or an excuse um, other than the fact that I was just like kind of coming off from, I'll tell you what, that, that Seeger bloat thing was, was, um, was intense. Uh, it was, it was, it was a huge, not like it was like a big gathering, or whatever, but just a lot of, a lot of energy, you know, a lot of, a uh, lot of, uh, you know, how you wake up the next day after a big party, maybe you've drunk too much or smoked too much, or you party a little bit too hard and you're feeling like a bus hit you. Um, but you feel like garbage. Several days after the cigarette bloat thing, um, I felt similar, but not as trashed. You know what I mean? Like I felt like I was just drained and weakened, um, but charged at the same time, but just like not ready to just, you know, like get in front of a camera or sit on a, you know, podcast microphone or whatever for an hour. So last week was just kind of like a, a, you know, recover, refuel, recharge, and then putting out new content for the channel, coming up with the plan for the YouTube channel memberships uh, options and getting YouTube, you know, to, to approve all that stuff. Um, you have to wait, you have to submit it. You change something, you got to resubmit it. You got to wait, you know, you wait in line. And so that's just the way it goes. And now here we are on a Monday. So Monday night, um, but like I said, probably starting next week, maybe this week, depending, I don't know if I'll release an, uh, another podcast episode this week because, you know, this one's not going to be your standard hour long thing or whatever. I try to keep the podcast to about an hour, maybe a little bit over. Um, but th this one's definitely not going to be uh, close to that. This is more or less just a, hey, guys, I'm alive. I'm here. I'm still doing the podcast thing. Don't forget about me. Please keep, you know, listening. Please keep engaging in that way. Um, check all if you, if you follow me on my social media, you, whether it's YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, you kind of know a little bit about what's what I'm up to. I'm not, you know, I'm not just falling off the face of the planet. I also have a lot of uh, uh, rune sets I need to catch up on because Materials. Tell you what, materials have been hard to get a hold of um, and acquire. So all the pieces of wood that I use for the rune sets have uh, have been a bit more difficult to uh, to acquire as of late. But I've got all the materials in now this week. Uh, so if you're listening or watching this, now this is only going to go out to the members right now. So if you're listening to this, um, then and I owe you a rune set or two or three. Um, however, whatever it is, uh, they'll be done this week. So like I said, this is just more of a, a, a soft launch to the new podcast style. You know, it's going to be a little bit different going forward. You guys aren't going to, uh, hear a lot of the intro ads and things like that, that you did before. It's obviously going to sound a little bit different. It's going to look a little bit different. Um, I'm working on now, as you can see, watching the, uh, the YouTube version. Um, I'm on a different mic, something that my wife got me, um, and it probably sounds a whole lot different too. Hopefully, it doesn't sound too bad because I think it's a pretty kick-ass setup, to be honest with you. Um, there's a really kind gesture on her part, and I uh, always love whenever I can do things that uh, in, you know incorporate gifts from my wife and 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 have you know a, a part of her in what I do. Um, another thing, speaking of my wife and speaking of uh, things to do that with her, that is a part of her, um, <clears throat> check the show notes, check the description, however you're listening or watching right now, check it out for uh, Wicked Wood Burning, uh, Wicked Wood Burnings. Um, it's a Facebook page, Wicked Wood Burning. I said Wicked Wood Burning, and then I said Wicked Wood Burnings, and then I said... Um, Wicked Wood Burning. So check that out. 
Um, where was I? Wicked wood burning? Yeah, wicked wood burning. Um, apologies for the uh, delay. See, this is how random it can get sometimes, you know? You get a phone call. You know, dog starts going crazy, pukes on the floor, takes a dump on the carpet, you know, bird flies through the window, bat comes down the chimney. I don't have a chimney. But that's how random it can get on random heathen ramblings. Uh, but yeah, uh, Wicked Wood Burning. So this is a, a Facebook page. You guys check the show notes, check the description et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's a Facebook page. Kind of something that I started with, well, my wife really started it, um, but we work together um, with this whole thing. It's uh, like, she likes to do wood burnings on trinket boxes, jewelry boxes, you know, all kinds of different stuff. And uh, we got, currently we've got a, an inventory blowout sale going on. Everything is priced to sell because we got to clear out the inventory of what we got right now. And it's not all, you know, like Norse heathen stuff. Um, a lot of what she's into and what she's done is like Wicca type aesthetics of things. So you get, you know, a lot of pentacles and um, some other, you know, pagan uh, symbology or whatever. But mostly what we've got right now to get rid of is pentacle uh, imagery stuff, really beautiful jewelry box, a nice little round box. And this is as of today, as of May 3rd. Okay. And we've only got like limited quantity, like one of each thing. So check the show notes, make sure that you go to uh, Wicked Wood Burning on Facebook. Again, the link for that's going to be in the description and the show notes of the podcast um, and see if what, uh, see if there's something there that you like, because once they're gone, they're gone. But why are we doing an inventory, you know, blowout, inventory clear out? Um, it's because she wants to get rid of the stuff that we were performing. You see, this is what's wrong with Facebook. Let me just tell you, this is what's wrong with Facebook. I'm trying to invite people like this page and i select all it's like 50 some odd people facebook says query error whatever the hell that means you're you know what facebook you're a query error your whole face is a query error massive error on your face book facebook um so that's what you're hearing in the background. You're hearing me click, 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 click. I am clicking like a madman, but I am not going to spam. I do not want to be shut down by Zuckerberg. You maniac. Um, so anyways, do me a favor, do her a favor, do us a favor, and help us get rid of some of these items. Got some really nice wood boxes that she's wood burned, like pentacles and things on. Um, we've got a, a card like a deck of cards, like a box you can put a deck of cards in. It comes with a really unique, special deck of cards. One of a kind. You're not going to find another one like it with an unk, an Egyptian unk on it. Unk, like saying that word, unk. Um, but that's unique. And that is kind of one in its, you know, one of a kind sort of thing. So this whole page this whole thing that, that that she's got going on is um something to you know it's a hobby you know we'll say it is it's it, it's a hobby um but it's something that helps support us and her specifically so um again check the show notes check the description wicked wood burning right there are other pages similarly named or, or closely named but again follow the link in the description follow the link in the show notes and check it out. This is only for right now. The items that are in inventory are only going to be sold domestically in the domestic U.S. So for all my international listeners or viewers, I'm sorry is what it is right now. But the good thing about it is that once the inventory that, that, that she's got is cleared and sold out, um, that opens up a whole new spectrum, a whole new opportunity for other cool items, commission pieces even perhaps. So 
help us out, help her out. Check out Wicked Wood Burning on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Wicked Wood Burning. Okay, not Wicked Wood Burnings, not Wicked's Wood Burning, not Wicked of the Wood Burnings, not Wood Burning Wickedness, no. Facebook.com slash Wicked Wood Burning. Check it out. See what fits you there. There might be some things that you see in the photo gallery that are not available for sale right now that you could ask about if we would uh, create it and sell it to you. Um, it's all there. Definitely all there. Um, so yeah, please check it out and let us know what you think. All right, don't forget, subscribe. To Midgard Musings. Don't forget to like Midgard Musings on Facebook. Don't forget to follow Midgard Musings on Twitter. Don't forget to like the Wicked Wood Burning Facebook page. Okay, right now, that's all that's out there. But hey, guess what? For all the listeners out there, that's like, you know what? I don't really care about Facebook. Zuckerberg's a jerk. Jerkerberg, if you will. Um, maybe you don't get on Facebook. You get a good response. Who knows what gets opened up? Maybe Instagram, maybe maybe something else happens. Who knows? I don't know. I don't run the thing per se. Um, but if I do, if, if my wife wants me to run the social media, there may be other things that you hear about coming out of here on uh, the Midgard Musings Random Heathen Ramblings podcast on all your favorite podcast listening platforms. So it is getting late. Uh, for me. Uh, and like I said before, this was not going to be a huge, long, normal, hour-long episode or whatever of Random Heathen Ramblings. This is kind of a, an open uh, invite, an open introduction to please, first of all, please head... Whoa! Whoa! See, that's random. That's how, that's how random things can get. My microphone just took a kamikaze dive off of the stand. See, if you weren't watching it, you wouldn't even know what just happened. If you're listening, you kind of get an idea. Um, that's the kind of randomness that you, that, that that you get here. Um, so, like I said, um, check out the uh, the the membership options because if you missed the visual version of what just happened right now, you missed a lot. It was like ninja reflex actions. It was like, if I didn't catch that from happening, it could have been disastrous. It could have been detrimental. You know, it's a, uh, uh, I had, if I had a guest sitting here with me, they'd be looking at this setup and they'd be going, what in the world are you even doing? You got your microphone sitting on a hammer. Hell yeah, I do wrong with that but um so yeah please check out the the midgard musing membership midgard musings memberships option on youtube okay um or not like i said if you just want to if you just want to listen you know um that's totally fine you're not you're not losing anything by not becoming a member of midgard musings but you're gaining so much more also don't forget to check out Wicked Wood Burning on Facebook. Check out my wife's Wood Burning Project. She is phenomenal. She's awesome. She got a lot of great talent. As a matter of fact, her uh, artistry and her talent has been um, uh, added to items that have been sold at Pagan Pride events here in Middle Tennessee. Um, a lot of people love what she does, and uh, I really think you will too. So please be sure to check it out. Um, before we leave this podcast episode today, I did not want to end it before we do what is tradition here on the Random Heathen Ramblings, because no matter how random it is, you know, no matter how random it can be, still got to get used to looking at the camera. So if I'm not looking in your eye, for those of you that are watching, do not take offense because it's new for me. So um, the uh, the Random Havamal stanza selection that have been a staple here on random heathen ramblings um we're going to continue that tradition and today's random stanza 
from the Havamal is stanza 48. Um, going to be reading from a number of translations, number of versions of the Havamal. We've got Auden and Taylor. We've got the Bellows translation. We've got Oliver Bray. We've got the Hollander, um, Thorpe and Terry and Jackson Crawford. So let's start with the Auden and Taylor version, whichever version that you are um, keen on or whichever uh, translation of the Havamal that you tend to gravitate towards. Um, if you're watching, share it down in the comments. If you are listening, uh, let me know through a voice message or through the Midgard Musings hotline. Uh, Auden and Taylor version reads, the generous and bold have the best lives are seldom beset by cares but the base man sees bogies everywhere and the miser pines for presence and that stands of 48 the bellows uh translation reads the lives of the brave and noble are best sorrows they seldom feed but the coward fear of all things feels and not gladly the niggard gives. Let me just emphasize what I just said so I don't get demonetized or anything weird. Niggard. Oliver Bray. Most blessed is he who lives free and bold and nurses never a grief. For the fearful man is dismayed by aught, and the mean one mourns over giving. Hollander. He who giveth gladly a goodly life leadeth, and seldom hath he sorrow. But the churlish wight is chary of all, and grudgingly parts with his gifts. Uh, Benjamin Thorpe, liberal and brave men live best. They seldom cherish sorrow, but a base-minded man dreads everything. The niggardly is uneasy, even at gifts. There's that word again. Had to emphasize it. One of those weird ones. All right. Winding down the uh, Terry translation. Men brave and generous live the best lives. Seldom they, seldom will they sorrow. Then there are fools afraid of everything who grumble instead of giving. Uh, and lastly, the Wanderers, Havamal, as written and translated by Jackson Crawford, Dr. Jackson Crawford. You guys are missing it. There I go again. There I go again on my... Whoa, let me fix my situation here. I've, I've done knock this microphone over twicely now. And uh, I got to figure out a new... I got to figure out a new setup. Like crash it, crash it down on my system here. I got to figure out a new setup here for sure. Cause uh, you guys are getting something, man. You guys are getting something. It is what it is. Um, hold on. So this is what you wouldn't get. You wouldn't get something like this. You wouldn't get this level of craziness. I want to say amazing i don't know you know whatever but yeah this is uh anyway so back to it stands of 48 from the jackson crawford wanderers hovamal kind brave people live best they never nurture a grudge but an unwise man worries about everything he dreads even Repaying a gift. All right. Now let me get this son of a gun set up a little bit. See, this is the thing. It's set up on a hammer. I need a boomstick. Podcasting now, Jesse. Get with the program, right? You guys are going to hear some stuff and some things, but don't worry about it. Just figuring things out. Um, so anyway, aside from all that excitement, 
aside from all that randomness. Let's talk about this stanza. You know, actions and materials uh, are interchangeable um, on some levels. Fighting in battles is an act of, you know, giving just as making an item with our own hands and gifting that item as giving. There's so many different com comparisons that can be made, you know? Um, kind of like uh, thinking about how, you know, if you're in any sort of service field, you know, accepting a buyout or, or buying your way out of something. Um, I don't know, it's an interesting thought. But the miser doesn't become happy at all when someone brings them a gift because they'll be expected to give something back. And the very thought of that is unbearable, you know? So I think it's a, it's a warning, as it were, to be careful of who you exchange in the gifting cycle with. This is something that, as random as this podcast can get, does focus on the importance of heathen values, heathen worldviews, and the gifting cycle is for sure one of those very important things. It's how we tie weird. It's how we build frith. It's how we um, continue our, uh, you know, th 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 there, there's so many concepts. There's so many things that are a part of the gifting cycle that is that, that makes it so important to us as heathens. And if you do not receive gifts in return, if that reciprocation doesn't happen, you know what I mean? Um, it can really do damage to a relationship. It can do damage. And gifts don't have to be the same thing. You know what I mean? A gift, it's, it's all about value. It's all about understanding what the, the, the meaning of the gift is. You know, so I, th I think I've talked about it, whether it's been on a podcast or whether it's been on a, um, a video before, you know, understanding the value of things and, and where value is placed. Value is placed on the recipient, right? I may perceive that the value of my vape is a certain thing, right? And I gift it to someone. Well, I, you know, paid X amount of dollars for my vape pen or for my, you know, whatever item that I have I, I hold a certain amount of value to it, right? And I give it to somebody and then that person doesn't vape or they don't have any, you know, so it's useless, it's valueless, it's worth less to that person. And then I could hand make something. I could, I could, you know, um, craft a piece of, of, of wood into something, burn a rune set, I don't, you know, whatever. Just as an example, right? Just anything simple to me seemingly is, is not as valuable because I don't, the, the value is not held by me. The value is held by somebody else. And that, that gift, that item that goes to that person is now invaluable. They can't place a price on it. So I think it's important in, in a bit of a, um, a, a bit of a warning from this stanza, you know, um, to be careful of who we, uh, exchange in the gifting cycle with, et cetera, et cetera. So as always, I'm anxious to hear what your thoughts are, and I'm pointing at you. And even though you're listening, you can't see it. I'm pointing to all of my followers and supporters and members here on Midgard Musings. I want to know what you think. I want to know where your thoughts are on this stanza. So head down into the comments. Drop me a line through the voice message, through the Midgard Musings hotline, through the sh whatever, however, email. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Let me know. Share your thoughts. Check out Wicked Wood Burning, okay, on Facebook because that's where it's at. It's where it's at um, for all your wood burning needs. I still do the runes. You know, that's that's kind of the Midgard Musings thing. But Wicked Wood Burning, my wife, she does all like the boxes and the the, the jewelry boxes, the trinket boxes, various things. That's what she loves and that's what she wants to do. So help us get rid of some of these items that she's uh, made that are really awesome. You know, if you like that whole uh, Wiccan pagan uh, pentacle aesthetic and whatnot, it's really beautiful stuff. Um, check it out. The link's going to be in the 
comments or sorry in the description in the show notes gotta think about where i am right now where are you jesse you're all over the place your microphone's falling down a number of times get get it together man right it's like hannibal burris just sitting there get it together man um, I'm getting it together. It's, it's going to take some time. That's why this is the the, 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 the soft launch of the thing. So anyway, um, for all of you out there listening, thank you so much. Thank you so much for putting up with this new format and this new style. I hope you like it. If you do, upvote the podcast, share your thoughts in whatever way that you can. Um, if you're watching and you're a member on Midgard Musings, thank you so much. Please share this around, become a part of things be inclusive, be included. It's great when there's more people um, about it all. So hail to you all. Thank you so much. And as always, may your hearth fires continue to burn bright.